Two recent court cases, the state versus Brown and the state versus Hinkle, brought forth the concern of how the clerk of court notifies jurors for a fair and speedy trial. Montana Code Annotated Notice to Jurors states the clerk of court shall serve notice by mail on the persons drawn as jurors and require the person to respond by mail. But what the critical issue is, is they, they are supposed to receive the notice, they are supposed to respond, then they receive a summons, and then they show up for jury trial. But on the back side of things, if the clerk of court's office doesn't receive a written response indicating their qualifications to serve as a juror, then the clerk of court has to certify those non-responses, however many there may be. There could be a thousand. Um, they have to certify those non-responses to the sheriff's office, who then has an obligation to go out and personally serve everyone who hasn't responded. Claire Leto is the managing attorney for the state office of the public defender, who represented Felicia Hinkle in an August 21st hearing, bringing forth the clerk of court's inaccurate notification to jurors. It calls into question um, the validity of some of the convictions that have transpired this year. In Brown v. Montana, Judge Kootzman delayed a trial which Brown's counsel asked to consider a speedy trial motion. Clerk of Court Tina Henry later testified in Hinkle v. Montana, stating her office did not certify the failure to the sheriff per statute. Um, I think it's just a time restraint disconnect. Everybody's shorthanded. It's just a, a poor excuse, but um, that's basically you know, the way I, I see it from, from my office. Is that was Henry's response in Thursday's press conference. Sheriff Jesse Slaughter also testified that no one brought the statute to his attention before the Brown ruling. But moving forward, the sheriff's office will be doing its part, notifying potential jurors. Currently, right now, members of the Cascade County Sheriff's Office will be calling you by phone if you haven't turned in your sum, if you haven't responded to your summons or asked your questionnaire. These are not prank calls. These are not scams. These are members from the office. We're not calling you to ask you for money or ask you to go get gift cards somewhere to bring into us. None of those things will be asked of you. It will simply be asked that if you receive the, the, the questionnaire and or the summons, you respond to it immediately. Jury trials have been suspended until September 25th, and trials before that period could be potentially retried if defending counsel finds the grounds. It's a concept that the Supreme Court essentially has said if, if your system was not followed appropriately, if the statute wasn't followed appropriately, and therefore a defendant was deprived of a fair cross-section of their community and a fair jury trial because of that, then it could be reversible error. Sheriff Slaughter wanted to reiterate that for those who have not submitted their questionnaires to do so as soon as possible and failure to do so could hold you in contempt of court. But he also wanted to add that the goal is not to get anybody in trouble, but to ensure that law and order is followed. In Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.